Hi, Adventure Kids. What's your favourite fruit? You know, my wife and my little daughter, their favourite fruit is bananas. That's why I called them little monkeys. My other two daughters, they like mangoes and they like berries. That's why I call them Tutti Fruity. Anyone want to guess what my favourite fruit is? Yeah, I like to eat ladybugs. No, it's watermelon. I love watermelons. What about you guys? What's your favourite fruit? Put up your hand if you like these fruits. Apples? Anyone like pears? Pineapples? What about kiwi? Kiwi fruit? Fijoas? Any little monkeys out there that like bananas as well? For me, uh, I, 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 I used to really like eating lemons too. I know some of you guys like lemons. They're fruit. Today, we're going to begin a new series on the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And today I want to share with you whether you're ready for fruit. Are you ready for fruit? Well, before we have fruit, we need to know where it comes from. No, it's not necessarily from the shops, but how do you grow fruit? Anyone know? Yes, seeds, seeds. So what we're talking about today is what is the source of the fruit that we're talking about, and it's the Holy Spirit. So we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit and how it ties into fruit. Because we're looking at the Holy Spirit, we need to understand what is the Holy Spirit. But a better question is, who is the Holy Spirit? You know, the Holy Spirit was a gift that Jesus left us when He went to heaven. And although Jesus doesn't live here on earth anymore, we have the Helper who comes and gives us access and power to God. So as we venture and understand about this fruit, we need to understand the Holy Spirit. You know, it says in John 14, 26, the Father will send the friend in the name to help you. And the friend is the Holy Spirit. So our key thought this week is to show God's fruit, we need God's Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is invisible though, but we can see its impact. An example is like a paper dart, okay? The wind powers the paper dart. As you can see, great. But also it can be like a fire and we can feel the warmth. And the Holy Spirit has many different symbols like the wind and like fire. So remember, the Holy Spirit is invisible, but we can sense His presence in our life. This month, we're focused on Galatians 5.22. And it says in Galatians 5.22, about the fruit of the Holy Spirit, uh, we can have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This is where we learn that a life with God's Holy Spirit produces great fruit in our lives. This is hard to produce on our own. So we need the Holy Spirit to help us. Galatians 5.22 may sound like a, a, a list for perfect people and only really perfect people can achieve all this. And I'm not perfect. And I'm sure you're not perfect. But let's invite the Holy Spirit to help us to achieve these fruits of the Holy Spirit. Um, God provides a new way of living. He helps us. When you live with the Holy Spirit inside of you, there's a fruit that comes out Rather than focusing on the fruit, that's pretty hard, let's focus instead on the Holy Spirit and the fruit that will come out as a result. Have you ever felt like it's hard to love somebody, especially when you're sad or they've made you angry? Or have you heard, maybe from your parents or a teacher, please be good to your sibling or be good to the, your friend next to you? It's pretty hard. Even as an adult, it's pretty hard to to do these things. But let me tell you a couple of stories in regards to my life. When I was growing up, my parents always told me, don't fight with your brother. And being a really obedient young person, I tried to listen to my parents. And you know what? Out of that obedience, and it came a real blessing in regards to living an amazing life as a kid. Even today, as an adult, um, I try and if you know me, I talk really fast. I walk really fast. Um, my wife knows I drive not slow. <laughs> um, I do everything fast. I, I'm in a rush to do lots of different stuff. But again, I ask the Holy Spirit to help me not to run a million miles per hour. Life is not a sprint. 
I need to appreciate and smell the roses or the daisies. I need to be in the moment. And that's where the Holy Spirit really helps me to be patient. And I think as young people, some of you are super fast. I've seen lots of you guys at Adventure Kids sprint around and I've seen you do lots of things and lots of you talk really fast too. But sometimes we need to slow down. And that's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit that I'm working on as an adult. So there's lots of different things. Love, joy, peace, patience. There's a whole bunch, I think nine of them that I need to really ask the Lord to help me. And even as a kid, He helped me. What, what I want us to also know is that it, it's really hard to do things on our own. And when we pray and when we come to church and when we have our parents and friends, they can help in regards to allowing the Holy Spirit to work in our lives that we can have all this fruit. And remember, these fruits aren't real fruit. Your legs aren't gonna turn into blueberries or your muscles aren't gonna turn into um, capsicums, if that's a fruit. But we really need the Holy Spirit to get these fruit. Have you ever seen a branch break off a tree? You'll see that branch can no longer produce fruit. But when that branch is connected to the tree, it does produce fruit. In the same way, when we're connected to God, we can produce great fruit. So think about it. Connection to the tree equals fruit. No connection to the tree equals no fruit. There's an awesome scripture that talks about that in John 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. So apart from me, you can do nothing. So if we want to have fruit, we need to be connected to the vine, which is God. And we can ask the Holy Spirit to help us to produce fruit. Over the next few weeks, we'll be talking about how we can live by His Spirit and connected to God. Just like we can't produce this fruit on our own, we also need to rely on Jesus in all situations. Jesus is the one we can run to when we need help. He is always there waiting for us and ready with open arms. So if you haven't invited Jesus into your heart and you would like to have more love, more joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, why won't you take some time now just to pray and repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. I want to remain in you and I want to bear much fruit. Holy Spirit, have your way. I'm sorry for all I've done, and I accept you as my Lord and Saviour. In your precious name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. So thanks for listening today. I hope you get lots of fruit, both the physical ones you can eat, but also that you can be connected to the branch and ask the Holy Spirit to grow you. Have an awesome time. Take care. Bye.